Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to Last Call. Tonight's final drink is another celebrity brand. This one is coming from Bob Dylan. This is Heaven's Door, a 50% ABV, no age statement, double barreled whiskey. Uh, this, ex this bottle is specifically is a blend of three different whiskeys, two being Kentucky Straight Bourbon and one straight rye, and then remarried in a charred barrel to give it that double barreled quality. Now, as we all know, celebrity brands are hit and miss sometimes. Uh, I will give them credit because this was my first experience with them and it was a pretty solid one. And Heaven's Door is doing a couple other interesting things. They also have a rye and uh, I think they just have just a straight whiskey. And then they've also done a couple like limited bottles. They're really touching on a lot of areas right now. So I give them credit. Uh, so, as always, we're going to be trying this two different ways. First way, neat. No ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a couple drops of water. See what changes up. Now, on the front of the bottle here, this actual artwork here it has to do with Bob Dylan's metalwork. He does a lot of just welding and metalwork uh, to, to make doors and sculptures, essentially. And this is a homage to his front door, if I remember right, or a door that he makes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking thing. I really wish it was in a sticker. I wish it was a little more inlaid on that. Still cool though. Ugh. And cork top, synthetic, but nonetheless. I do love the bottle shape too on top of that. Very unique looking bottle for today's stuff. And they actually, you know, with the cork here, they actually have Heaven's Door around here. And the cork top has the HD. They got down the side as well, Heaven's Door here. I mean, they're really making sure you understand this is Heaven's Door. Nice dark color there. It's a beautiful color. Very dark amber. Let's go for notes. ABV does come across on the nose. Do you get a bit of that sugary sweetness and that obviously that oak note that oak is pretty prominent but that sweetness is helping mellow things out and i'm going back a couple times here a little almost fresh earth um fresh grass note and i'm going to guess i'm and that little bit of herbal from the rye is showing up but just a nice, now that I'm going back a few times, that alcohol note has come down a little bit. It's still present. But just a nice, simple bourbon. Uh, that Kentucky Straight Bourbon, you can really tell they use two different types of, the two to one ratio with that bit of spice. So definitely not super heavy in the rye area. Let's go for taste. ABV shows up on the taste too. Wow. A little potent. But you get this nice charness. That oaky char notes there. Mmm. That um, caramel is really bouncing up. Get a bit of that like toasted caramel note going on. Plays really well together on that. Little sweetness, but not like the caramel sweetness. Kind of brown sugar sweetness going on there. That toasted oak is really bouncing up to the top. Little creaminess to it, just a little bit. Get more rye on the second taste here. Now a little bit more medicinal herbal taste going on. The rye is definitely lingering a little bit here, but it's nice. It's not overly complex with that rye note. It's just, you can tell there's rye. Super decent finish. It's not dry. Mm. But that 
punch of that toasted char barrel is really, really good. It's dominating in that. But it's got some beautiful side characteristics with that, that bit of rye in there. Mm. I love that spice. It's really decent. Mm. Okay, let's add a little bit of water, see what changes up. I picked this up prior to the channel starting before I even decided to jump into doing things like this. And, ooh, good save. So I, I, I seen this, I started reading about it. Uh, I, you know, Bob Dylan, huge music legend. I was like, I gotta give it a try. And I decided to go with the double barreled version of that just for something different. Didn't really know much about it until after I've started getting into whiskeys and learning what that means. So it's been an interesting little uh, adventure. Okay, let's see. Be curious here. Ooh. The alcohol note kind of pulled back a little bit, but now I'm getting a lot of that jump of the rye is coming out, that herbal medicinal note. Not quite as punchy as like uh, bullet rye or uh, the um, rabbit hole rye. Both of those I've tried. When those videos, uh, videos are live, they'll be linked as well. But just a nice medicinal rye note in there. A little sweet there. You do get a bit of that caramel. You, and you get, obviously get a bit of that oak note. Let's go for taste. Yeah, I mean, that is, that is definitely a strong rye now. The rye note has like kicked itself up into a higher gear with that little bit of water. That charred oak note is kind of tapered back a bit. Honestly, it does remind me a lot of a rye now. Let me go back to the original. That toasted oak quality is still showing up pretty strong here. It still shows up in the watered version, but you do get a bit more of that rye showing up. Still get a bit of that caramel sweetness going on. Still get a bit of... It's, it's got almost like... um. There's another sweetness in there that I'm not sure of right now. But it's not sugary sweetness. It's... I don't know. But those rye characteristics are really, that herbal quality is really showing up on that. Okay, yeah, not too bad. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price. In my area, my closest place that I've actually found this in store is a Total Wine and it's a pretty good distance away from me. Uh, I paid 60 bucks for this. However, uh, looking on flavyhard.com, they have it for 45 bucks. So, and, and I've seen, there was a couple other sites that had it at the $50 price point, but at $45, I think, think this is a great, great bottle. At $60, coming back to it after trying some other things, I don't think it's a horrible price, but that would be like the top dollar now that I see it for 45. I mean that's a that's a fifteen dollar difference uh, it, for the same for the exact same thing. Being if you are a, a Flaviar member, you get some cheap shipping, if not free shipping, depending on what else you order. But I, I, I like what Heaven's Door is doing here, especially being blended. That fifty percent ABV is really nice on there. It's warming. It's got a good effect to it. I just don't know if it's quite worth the sixty dollar asking price point on that. Uh, but if I'm done with this, will I buy it for 60 bucks again? No, there's no way. Uh, for 45, will I buy it again? Maybe. I can see this being good as a, an old fashioned or just neat. I think neat's a great option for it, especially, or, you know, adding a little bit of water for that rye forward note. 
So there you have it, Heaven's Door Double Barreled Whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits you would like me to review, also let me know down below as well. I'm always on the hunt for something new and fun to try. And until next time, may your last drink of the night be the best one.